Hi friends. So you all know that at Wellness Space uh, we do therapies and trainings and we are also uh, very focused on gathering data and publishing research uh, and evidence based uh, you know conclusions uh, of all the methods that we practice here. And for this purpose we have a bunch of psychologists who work with us at Wellness Space. And today I would like to talk to one such psychologist who is interning with us, Anuja. Uh, and come Anuja, please come. She has uh, started working with us since a few months and uh, she has gone through more than 300 client files with us. Clients who have come for consultations and clients who have gone through therapies. And today I would like to share with you her learnings from her time spent with us. Of course she is continuing to work with us but today she is going to share some of her takeaways that she has gathered in this journey in this process. Hi. Yes Anuja. So hi, first of all, I'm Anuja as ma'am shared and I am a psychology student and interning here. Uh, so when I came here, I had no clue what I have to do and I have, ze I have zero clue about what is A's, what they do, anything. And sir so told me that we have to see uh, how the clients are filling up the forms, especially the A's and see that after consultations what is changing in what they have filled. I'm like, okay, this is what I have to do. And I started working. Okay, kya hua? Gaya, consultation acha. Isne bataya acha. Ye mentioned hai, nahi hai. I was just changing. So, just things. to give a perspective, clients usually fill up yeah. certain forms that measure the well-being, anxiety, depression, insomnia, and childhood trauma. And these forms are self-assessed by the clients. Subsequently, we do a one-to-one -one consultation, and we take detailed notes. Yes. So that is how it works and then I was especially, uh, I used to focus on, like I am focusing on ACE especially. So I, I was like okay data hai and I have to look at the data. I did 50 files and then 100 files and I told sir, sir I will go to Boru, what is it, 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 what is it. So I was like okay, well, uh, thoda tum break le lo. Then I started studying in the consultations as well and then started, I started again doing ACE. But then when I did M1 and started sitting in the consultations as well I realized that you know there is a pattern going on there is something that I'm gaining but I'm not realizing so I had to sit and think ki maine kya, main kya patterns dekh rahi and what is happening for example if I am saying ki bhai, uh, relationship issues hai kisi client ke so there is a possibility ki unke childhood mein parents ke issues ho sakte hai. like M1 ke baad I realized that if a person is having you know if a woman is having in, uh, infertility, infertility issues ya fir sexual dysfunction hai ya fir intimacy issues hai to possibility hai ki sexual abuse ho sakta hai so maine us tarike se us patterns mein dekhna chalu kiya ki ye hai to ye ho sakta hai adult mein hamare paas ek qualitative ace bhi hai jo hum consultations mein lete hain jisme hum present present issues pe focus karte hain to present issues mein jo jo hai usme bhi hum dekh sakte hain jaise collaterative ways mein hi sexual dysfunction ka pura ek hamare paas question hai usse we can you know connect ki acha sexual abuse isme hai ki nahi hai so that is how my learning stint started mai was like yaar data hai data hai boring hai but now i'm realizing ki okay then i started reading this book the body keeps score which ma'am suggested to uske baad bhi you know okay wohne thode hi pages bhare and then i'm like okay there is a connection isme aisa hai and then so what was one. what was a, what were the other patterns that you saw i mean because to go through 300 consultation files is by itself a huge task and it's a huge learning curve so can you just quickly tell share uh, what were the main patterns that you started seeing between the childhood trauma score or certain specific yeah. ACE points with the presenting problems that they were coming to us with? Because the ACE questionnaire is filled about incidences that happened between 0 to 18 and when clients come to us they are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. So where was that connect or which areas you have connect? See, as I mentioned two areas then there is if I see that the person is suffering from lack, lack of self esteem. If there is a lack of self-esteem, there is a possibility that there is an emotional neglect in the parents so we think that you are know, not worthy and if there is emotional abuse, that you are like this, you are like this, you are like this, you are like Criticize So then the person develops this self, uh, lack of self-esteem So there is one area Then uh, if that is in the peer, in the peer pressure, mein, sorry, in the peer group, you have the same feeling Then there is a lack of self-confidence bhi hai self acceptance nahi hai ye sari cheeze hai and also uh, uh, we uh, you know gain this uh, data ki if the ace is more than 5 or if there is uh, emotional abuse physical abuse sexual abuse or neglect 
there is high chance that the person might have PTSD. Then we added this data ki how do we do that? So we put that if it is more than that, then check PTSD. So we started that ki agar okcha, there is a link between these four races and PTSD. So whenever these four races are ticked off, we started taking PTSD. PTSD. So, so we also at Wellness Space are learning. Uh, and learning you know to to fine-tune our systems fine-tune our methods and processes and uh, based on the new understanding that is coming from such interns uh, who are working with us so Anuja uh, another thing was uh, I wanted to ask you was uh, have you seen uh, you've seen the graph so you've seen some of the client files where yes. there are significant changes yes. in some of the parameters would you want to comment on that? Like, what is your takeaway from there? Yeah, when I see file, dekhi, I'm like, oh my god, he kaise, isko to kaise hum, you know, how to make that the, the client functional? And when I see uh, if there's a therapy file I'm looking at, when I see the changes, I'm like, okay, life is, you know, not ending here if you have trauma or if you have whatever issues. The scores are changing significantly. There's you know huge difference. If there is zero poor well-being, hai, poor well-being is zero, then it goes to 70, 80. Tak bhi so it's not that if you are very low, you can't reach anywhere. Possibilities are everywhere. And there are also cases, I think, Anuja, where we don't see much change, right? So you would yeah. have seen files where uh, there is no change in the quality of life. Yeah. And there are also cases where we don't see much change, right? So you would have seen files where uh, there ha we have done a lot of sessions, but clients have not benefited. Anything take away from there, from your few months you've spent with us here, what are your takeaways? Why would that be happening? And there are people who come in one month and then they take a break. They will come in four or five months. Then there is a gap. If there is a gap, then again you are you know, down that so line. So consistency in therapy consistency is one thing. Is Another thing is, uh, what are the patterns you've seen among clients who have reported very high A scores? Like 10, 12. You've gone through such I have files. also gone through uh, people, you know, ne, uh, when they filled up the form, form uh, ACE was 0 and when they took the consultation, ACE score was 15. So, the, it is very su surprising that, you know, people think, that hoga kya hoga? But then it is affecting them right now as well and they don't realize it. So, if you are the ones who score is so much, then the rest of the score, like anxiety, hai, depression, hai, sleep issues, are high and they are high, well-being is zero, bhi hoti hai. so it feels more work on them. But I think if you are resilient, if you are consistent, if you are willing to work on yourself, the people, there are changes. <laughs> Any particular case that affected, like case file that uh, touched you in a positive way and a negative way, like in positive negative way, but that affected you deeply? Um, when you don't I have to go into the details, but generally you can just talk. I don't know, Malab, when, uh, see every, as I am an emotional and sensitive person, every file affects me, every detail is, is you know, very, it, uh, it affects you. But that's, that is what we have to learn in this field, that you have to disconnect yourself and see, it in that way, ki, you know, you have to help that person. If you go to the house, then there is no point. So, I learned in the consultation that when I had my first consultation, I was like, no, I don't have to cry. I have to help them. If I go like this, I won't be able to help them Absolutely. or see any changes. And right now also, uh, we, have, we, are going, uh, we are working on this that if a person is taking psychiatric medications, hmm. so जो ले रहे हैं और जो नहीं ले ले रहे हैं, उन दोनों की well-being में भी difference. अगर ले रहे हैं, उनके भी well-being कम ही है. So what ah. is the difference? Uh, अगर आप ले रहे हो कि नहीं ले रहे हो, तो there are people जो meds ले रहे हैं, still the well-being is zero, still the well-being is very very. Poor. So you are already uh, evaluating these files further, and they are trying to find more and more connections, more and more, uh, you know, um, uh, understandings. Uh, from these files. Uh, anything that you feel here matched with your psychology studies or anything you found here which was not as per your psychology study and that kind of completely uh, surprised you? First is A's only because we didn't study as exact A's. We had childhood traumas, we had uh, uh, you know childhood theories and stuff. But I never studied ACE or I never saw what is ACE questionnaire. We had MDI and GAD and uh, well-being. But I, this was my first experience with ACE and with this 16 questionnaire and uh, looking at ACE from this perspective. And obviously looking at the client files and consultations, that was complete, this is completely new for me. So yeah. And how are you liking this work so far? 
starting mein to be very hard is was very boring but now that i'm getting this patterns and insights it's like okay okay, okay what is happening what is i'm so i'm very quick now it's like are a sl all i said like yeah there's a lot of learning that comes with going through 300 client files but yeah she's she's just started the journey so we hope to have more such uh, interns more such psychologists working with us in fact we are also now going to have a special batch for psychology students who wish to learn these modalities uh you know that we practice here so that uh and they have the mind frame of what anuja is doing here the mindset of gathering data collecting research finding the correlations and publishing papers on it so um thank you anuja for sharing your experience thank you so so when anuja mentions the 300 case files i would like to really point out here that for anuja these case files are numbers because keeping the client confidentiality in mind we assign random code numbers to our clients so every client file as you can see here is marked by a code and all the data that we have about these clients is coded so for anuja uh, every file that she sees is practically a number only and all the conclusions she draws are based on all the data related to that number and this is how we try our best to ensure confidentiality and privacy of the clients